I legit have no idea what to do with this hair. How do I... How do I do that? <laughs> anyway, hey guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ruwa. Welcome. It definitely has not been about three months since I actually sat down to film. I definitely didn't go through a depressive episode after breaking my laptop. <laughs> um so today i wanted to just catch up with you guys not like a chit chat i want to do something else like with that yes i actually have my nails done for this video i filmed two nail videos which will probably be one of them will be up by the time this video comes out um so i have been feeding my um depressive episodes with shopping on amazon that's literally it there, there is no if you ever the tide found the plant something from Amazon or the majority of the haul is stuff from Amazon I don't have a problem that's not this is not me it's you anyway um so I bought a lot of stuff like I've been seeing so many things on TikTok on YouTube I've been having like just like I've been trying to like figure out my skin issues and stuff and after going to the doctors and understanding I was just like okay let me indulge let me just find stuff that's gonna work for me that's gonna help me that's gonna fix it so a lot of this stuff is skincare a lot of this stuff is like random stuff that has to do with like your skin and just helping your skin out even though that's not what the item is meant for you see what I'm saying when I show you so yes let us get right into this video um so the first thing I did get is skincare like I just said this was actually recommended to me by Amazon and then I spent three hours doing research on the benefits of this product and then I eventually bought it after seeing different videos and stuff. This is, um, I, <laughs> you're not going to get a pronunciation out of me. It is this product. It is basically, I don't know what the name on this is like complicated, Niacina Max Serum. It's basically vitamin B12. Um, serum with tea tree oil this is just amazing it is great for your skin you have to be careful if you are allergic to like tea tree oil or if you're hypersensitive or it causes your skin to burn but with this I use it with so much stuff I don't really feel it I don't use it every day I just use a little bit it's like a I have hair in my ugh, my hair is just anyway yeah it's just like a serum thing and i put a little bit in i do have a whole entire skincare routine best believe because i just did winter time i always get like cracked skin my skin gets so dry so it just makes sense that i've had these things i've had this for a while i just left it out of my other haul on accident um the next thing is this says radha rosehip oil this is just rosehip oil this is the product i was buying in the first place and then i got recommended this these are amazing for your skin the only reason i have i even remotely knew about rosehip oil is because my mom had this one oil and i saw it sit around her um dresser and i was like let me steal this and try it and that is the first time and the only time in my life where i've tried a serum or oil or product on my skin immediately like literally blurred my pores i don't know if it's because my if my skin was so dehydrated that it had never experienced something that amazing that moist i hate that word but like that was what it did for me i was just like okay we will we will buy this and then i bought another one from ross and then eventually i just got a bigger container um this it does have like a similar effect on my skin to like um, vitamin C oil, but this is just stronger. I don't know what is in rosehip oil, but if I take off my makeup, a lot of times you won't notice like except for the discoloration, you wouldn't know if I didn't have like makeup on in some areas of my skin because it is so powerful. I've used this every single day since I got it. I mean, it, you, if you can see through the bottle, it's basically like halfway gone. I didn't spill it or anything because I'm notorious for spilling my skincare products as soon as I get them. Okay, so the next things that I got was these, um, I didn't shut it properly. These are um, pads. They're called glycolic acid pads. This one is 20%, please focus. Okay. This one is 20%. I'll just link these products down below because obviously, oh yeah, because they're all from Amazon anyway. This is 20% um, glycolic, glycolic pads and I got, this was recommended by TikTok um, OBGYN and this was also recommended by like a couple videos I've seen. I'm like, 
girls why did i know not know this so basically if you have any like contact um skin issue especially like in places where your skin contacts each other basically in your pits and you know down there it helps with like basically opening up your pores and allowing like any pressure not really pressure but it i don't know it kind of basically cleans up your pores or skin this is also used on your face like if you have any like pimples or anything like any pus filled pimples or anything does that make sense like a pimple it's a pimple it's a pimple what am i what am i talking about what is she talking about anyway you put it on your skin and you just like wipe they said they recommended wiping in an up and down motion because like it helps your skin especially where hair grows it helps it helps the hair grow in the same direction it's 10 percent. i use it on my pits and then this one is like a little bit stronger i use it down there um they have been really effective i recommend getting these if you have like any type of skin issue not even on like those like areas where hair grow but like you can do it on your face it's literally this product isn't especially made for that it's just made on your made for your face but i saw different recommendations from like dermatologists online and i bought it but it works so like it's not really a bad investment um i would just say when you're using abrasive products like this any type of scrub that you're using on your skin or um, some kind of chemical or something that's basically drying out your skin make sure you moisturize don't ever ignore moisture because not moisturizing your skin can also reignite those issues like i think a lot of times people forget like you have to keep a balance with moisture and um abrasive products and just like basically dehydrating your skin in order to clarify it but yeah these products are amazing they're basically the same thing one is just has a higher um percent of glycolic acid and then this one just has a less percent glycolic acid and i really 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 love these products because they work i've never i don't know why i've never heard of this i've literally heard of every skincare under the sun and i never heard about these next thing is also skincare yay there are many products i've seen so many different recommendations about this but this is the one i ended up sticking with because why not why why, why do i have to choose i don't want to choose i want it all um these are razor bump solutions again this has to do with like skincare I would just advise if you have sensitive like um, armpit skin or like thicker skin in those areas or skin is just hypersensitive and like basically you just get boils and stuff under there that has nothing to do with hygiene. I would recommend um, getting stuff that like help like you just need extra part there's no way around it you're gonna need extra stuff unless you're gonna get those um, sweat glands removed which I, I was thinking about doing it but some people say like you need multiple procedures and sometimes it doesn't work maybe that's something down the line maybe that's some cosmetic thing I would do down the line to just like get rid of this problem but for now I do use this it's called there are many different versions I saw like different recommendations some were like really high end and others were just like basic prices so i bought this one uh, first ingredient is water so i guess that's good it prevents ingrown hair reduce waxing slash razor bumps so yeah i do i don't i don't shave anymore even on my regular skin i use nair or whatever because i don't know shaving has lost shaving has lost its spice shaving has lost its value in my world after finding out like how damaging it is to skin i just i don't care like some people are like if they moisturize with shea butter their skin gets better and they can shave not i not all <laughs> shaving just doesn't even work for me my skin is so sensitive like it's the worst so i use this razor thing this is for like shaving and waxing after you do it but i use this every day i just i just use it baby <sighs> it just works for me i always moisturize i do multiple so i will like basically after getting out of the shower i'll use these pads and then i'll go in with this and then i go in with either aloe vera gel or this um serum that's sp specified for like armpits and like and grow hairs or whatever so literally oh and it has a lightening effect so what actually is it helps with like congestion in those areas of your skin and i have seen results i kid you not i bought this a week ago and i guess combined with these products like it just changed my skin dramatically yeah i'm just i'm now a strong believer in combining products that are um what's it called compatible with each other like please do your research some of these things i really didn't research that much like this i researched a lot and this i really didn't i just saw this girl show her results and then i watched i went into a loophole watching multiple videos of people having great results so i bought it and it actually helped all right so the next thing that i got i'm so happy this actually came like three days ago and it wasn't about to be in this haul but you know i have an addiction to ordering stuff on amazon 
Also, I don't even feel remotely bad about spending stuff on Amazon because it's literally the same price as the stuff at Walmart. And then my Walmart and Target, they never have anything. I check it online, they'll be like, it's in the store. I go to the store, there's nothing there. There's, there's never anything there. So, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, but this is, I never, I never gel down my edges. My edges don't. They, don't, they didn't used to have that ability, but as you can see, they kind of are gelled down. To be honest, I didn't lay it down. I just did something quick for the video. But it's 24-hour edge tamer. I feel like everyone and their mama knew about this, except for me. I don't know why I didn't know about this. Like, it works. Like, it doesn't even need a lot of product. It just works. And it, it works for a while, too. So, this is my new baby. If you do have any recommendations for 4C hair please leave them down in the comments or email me or whatever i will i'm there i'm ready for i'm ready if someone recommends something to me i kid you not i will buy it all right so this next thing i've also had for a while i just left it out of a couple of hauls ago but it's 20 percent no it's your urea 20 cream 20 percent urea cream i don't know again i got this from a derma accredited an accredited dermatologist off of tiktok that actually specializes in people with melanin not just like any dermatologist because like you can't just follow everything you see on the internet which is kind of contradicting what i'm saying right now but it works it works tiktok somehow has not failed me like when i listen to the products from like recommended dermatologists or derma dermatologists or like skincare people with credibility it somehow has been working for me so i'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep buying the stuff they recommend. By the way, this is the second bottle. I finished the first one. So this is for anywhere. This is actually recommended for feet or, feet or dry skin that's like callous. Does that make sense? Like thickening skin or whatever. So I use this in my pits. Also, this is combined with all the other stuff I use, it's somehow deodorizing. I don't know what it is. Maybe like deodorant, like modern de deodorant. Oh, I can't speak. Is like hyped up for some reason also I'm allergic to every single one <laughs> that's another thing it just makes it gives me flare-ups it gives me like tiny little like bumps it, they look like razor bumps it's just not appealing it's annoying it's hard to get rid of and then like when I if you scrub like if I use deodorant but when, when I used to use like um, even arms and hammer and their whole thing is like baking soda so I thought that would be good for your skin but it's not my skin reacts after like a couple of uses so like if it's like desperate times and my homemade deodorant isn't there then I'll use it like once in a while but I don't understand why my skin is so sensitive like it it's annoying but like yeah my skin gets flares flare-ups from like every single one I've ever tried so I just don't use them anymore basically what I do is take baking soda um like three teaspoons of tablespoons of baking soda to um one tablespoon of lemon and then half a tablespoon of coconut oil your your pits will literally have no order order for like even when you work out like no order at all it's amazing i don't know why i never like thought about this i've been using that like homemade thing i got it off of youtube too for like almost three months it's worked amazing for me like no issues no nothing so i just think that there's something off about like these huge companies selling us all these things with different like a, a bunch of the chemicals too like you don't even know what it is honestly this should be a skincare i bought from amazon slash waxing video because that's what this is turning into so the next thing that i got was this i love waxing so if you guys don't know, if you ever watch my my old Amazon videos, I would always talk about, I keep ordering this, um, the NADS waxing pads from Amazon. I order them all the time and each of, like each pack is like $8 and I would buy like two packs every couple of months. So I was like, I'm kind of wasting money. I'm just buy a, a waxing machine. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, this is, this is the container. I got this off of Amazon for like $33 or so something like that it will save you money because it's you all see that it's an entire kit look at all the stuff it comes with oh wait this is not this doesn't go in there <laughs> that's not what i meant to put in there but yeah, yeah. it comes with a pre-wax pre and post wax um spritz this is this. it comes with a pair of gloves pre and post wax like serum and oil um 
wax strips if you want to use these this is a hard wax so you don't really need this i don't know how to use them with this because i wait till this gets dry and i use powder to like harden it when i rip off the wax so maybe it doesn't matter <laughs> it probably doesn't it's advertised as a hard wax and if you don't know what a hard wax is it just means you don't need this you basically don't need this you just the directions tell you to just set up the machine turner i pour the wax in turn it on um to the highest if you want it to heat up fast and once it's fully melted i do have some wax in here because i was just testing on my arm to see how i would do it if i needed to but you know you can't just wax your skin anytime you need the hair to actually grow so i'm just waiting and there's actually some wax in there and yeah you don't have to clean it every time they recommend that you use up the wax completely and then you try to like just peel the wax out of the little tin that it is in and then like you can like wash it out and it's fine but it comes with um multiple packs of wax um some there there's so many options on amazon honestly you can figure out what you want there's even like cheaper versions i just bought the more expensive one simply because the number lights up when you plug it in i know basic When he ignores you for three days and then decides to text you, you are not getting a response from me. Anyway, okay guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul and more hauls like it. I have so much stuff to film. I just need to find the time to film it. And guys, don't ever think I'm going missing on purpose. It's just the act of losing so many clips. I had literally had like six or seven videos planned and i had to scrap all of them because huge chunks of those videos were missing on top of that the laptop situation so i love you guys and miss you guys so freaking much um all of this stuff will be linked in the description for the most part um uh, make sure to just live your life and catch a vibe catch a good vibe baby girl i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye